So here, the dinosaurs are here, and you know what? I found a book here, and this book is all about dinosaurs. Let me see what's in this book. I have two dinosaurs here. So this is the book. Let me see who wrote this book. Dino pets go to school. Ooh, dinosaurs. A pet. Let's see. Oh, so Lynn Plurdy, illustrated by Gideon Kindle. Oh, let's see. Let me turn the page. Here, yeah, this is the first page. And see, our teacher said it's pet day. So bring your pets to school to play. Oh, it was a pet day at school. So on this page, I brought a dino for a pet. The tallest dino. Hmm. This one is tall too, right? The tallest dino I could get. So which one is the tallest? Look here. This is the tallest one. Whoa, let's turn the page here. So on this page, what do you see? Wow, look at the dinosaur. <coughs> Bigger than a big school bus. When it sat down on the bus, the driver made a great big fuss. Ooh, look at the driver's face. Look here, the driver's face. Turn the page. Hmm. Look here, more dinosaurs. I brought a dino for a pet. The loudest dino I could get. Woohoo, who is the loudest? I think these are the loudest. This one. This is the loudest one. After I made the introduction, our whole classroom needed reconstruction. <laughs> Because it broke the classroom. See, let's turn the page. Here is, look, there's another one. And this one, I brought a dino for a pet. The spikiest dino I could get. Here. So let's turn the page. On this page, what do we see? At recess time, we played a game. Our soccer ball was not the same. Oops, what happened to the soccer ball? Would you like to see? Look, here, the soccer ball. Oopsie. Let's turn the page. And here, children, see? Another dinosaurs. So let's see. Another kid brought that. I brought a dino for a pet, the widest dino I could get. Oops, the widest. Yes, it is very wide. Look here, right? Really wide. The bench sagged when it sat for lunch, and food went flying before we could munch. Wow, well, look here what happened. Look at the class. Oops, let's turn the page. Hey, Dino. So here on this page, you see, is another type of dinosaur. I brought a dino for a pet. The smartest dino I could get. Oops. It's the smart, smartest dino. This is the smartest dino. Okay. I wanted help with my map test but he ate my quiz and all the rest oops so it ate everybody's quiz <laughs> let's turn the page so here look what's happening here now look the teacher the other students, everybody watching him. My teacher gave the longest shy, <sighs> rolled her eyes, mm -hmm. 
said, one more try. So let's turn the page. So on this page, children, we see the other children with, with their pets. I brought a dino for a pimp, the youngest dino I could get. So who is the youngest dino? Look here, who is the youngest dino? Where is his youngest dino? I think the egg, right? Let's, let's see, let's read it. The teacher thought this dino was cute, but the kid said, Boring! Can't eat fish or wood. Oh, was it boring? Let's turn the page. Here, look. So, crick, crunch, crack. Look who hatched. Oh, look who hatched. Crick, crunch, crack. Look who hatched. Here. Oops. From the egg came what? A big dinosaur. Is. Oops, let's see. All his dinosaurs are here. Look, he's playing with his dinos. It's time to play. We couldn't actually take dinosaurs to school on pet day. But it's fun to imagine dino pets at school. So let's just talk about a uh, few dinosaurs since we just finished the story about dinosaurs. Let's learn something more about these dinosaurs. So the tallest one here, see the tallest one. This is the tallest one. But so far the tallest dinosaurs was Sauroposeidon. So when scientists first discovered its neck bones, they had thought that they, they had found prehistoric tree trunks. It was so tall. So they first thought it's a tree trunk. So Poseidon was shaped like a giraffe, but it was 60 feet tall, way taller than a giraffe. So let's see the other one here. Yep, so look at this one. This one is, we can find a picture of it. Here is the loudest one. The loudest dinosaur was likely, big name, Parasaurolopus. It had a six foot long hollow bone called a crest on top of its head. See? The Parasauropolis took in air through its nostrils and then made a loud blasting noise with its crest. These dinosaurs moved together in herds and their sounds may have been a way to communicate with other members of their herd. Oh, so that's how they used to communicate with each other. So let's see the other one, the spikiest one here. Here is the picture of our spikiest one. So the spikiest dinosaur may have been Styrocosaurus, whose name means spiked lizard. So all these spikes may have helped the Styrocosaurus to protect itself from its predators. It was an herbivore oh or plant eater Why this one let me find a big picture for that let me see if i can find it mm, here the widest dinosaur was ankylosaurus which was only four feet tall six feet wide but weighing ten thousand pounds Ooh. lie flat on the ground to protect itself with Hard plates covering most of its body. Big picture of our smartest dinosaur. The smartest dinosaurs may have been Trudon, so that's their name. Scientists believe dinosaur smarts can be 
determined by comparing the size of a dinosaur's brain. Oh, so that's how the scientists know that this dinosaur is the smartest one. Which one is biggest and which one is tallest? You cannot say for sure because scientists still looking for more dinosaurs, still trying to learn more about these prehistoric creatures. And dinosaurs cannot go to school, they are too big to go to school. One day you will go to school and learn to be a paleontologist. Paleontologist means dinosaur scientist. If you become a paleontologist, then you research and dinosaur digs and discovers might lead to new facts about our dino friends. That's right. Friends, we all love dinosaurs, right? We love to learn about dinosaurs. So that's all for today. We can read more books about dinosaurs some other day. Until then, stay well and keep reading books. Thank you. Bye-bye.